What I feel about the perception of Muslims in America is like the perception of any one specific thing anywhere on, uh, on earth. Some people know about it, the majority of people don't. And I think Islam is in the limelight right now, it's being demonized, but at one point in history, anything that's unfamiliar has been demonized. I think the key thing that Muslims need to know, as hard as it is, is to not necessarily take things personal. Don't take ignorance personal. We, we are being um, attacked now, but everybody's had their fair share. You know, uh, Protestants were attacked by Catholics or Lutherans were attacked by Baptists, or, you know, it, the list goes on, or Sikhs were attacked by Muslims when during the Muslim occupation of Northern India. Uh, there were different practices in ancient Egypt of deities to worship, and one pharaoh would come in and say, no longer worship these deities, you must worship these. And then the people who didn't want to worship those were attacked. So it's human nature to attack things that people that they may not necessarily understand or don't know. I don't think it's necessarily personally against Islam. It's just when you're ignorant to something, that's the end result of it. I've always learned that from my father to never take those things personally. So when I get pulled over in the airport, I remember one year I was flying back to Sudan with my father and we were in Dallas airport and we got pulled over. I was a little bit more militant because I was reading this and reading that. And I was like, this is bull. And they shouldn't be doing this. And my father was like, Take it easy. What's wrong with you? I'm born in the States. He's born in Sudan. He's like, they don't know any better. You haven't done anything wrong. They'll check you out and realize you haven't done anything and we'll be on our way. It's a big deal about making a fuss about it. These things will come to pass. And lo and behold, after 9-11, it was pretty tough. I got pulled over a lot more. It was really hard coming back into the United States. And as the years went by, I no longer get pulled into the white room as much as I did. I used to get pulled in a lot more, but it fades. I'm not saying things are perfect, but ignorance exists everywhere against everyone. Even in Islam, there's people who don't like the practice of other Muslims, whether you're Shiite or Sunni or Sufi, and everyone talks about the other person's practice and how wrong it is. And you may be questioned if you go into Iran or certain parts of of the Middle East and Syria or Lebanon, and you're Shia or Sunni, there's certain neighborhoods you can't go into without being harassed, and you're both Muslims. So it exists everywhere, and I find not to take it so personal. My first cassette tape that I personally bought was Run DMC's Raising Hell, and I had to hide it because it said the word hell. That's how young I was. My team is structured in a way where I, I trust them to do what they do because they're skilled at it, and it allows me to just make the music at the end of the day. You know, I'll probably be doing visual arts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, probably directing and, you know what I'm saying, movies and stuff like that. This just had a bunch of bomb-ass cheese, man. Sorry about that, Wolf, but, yo, I knew you, you weren't going to eat it anyways.